Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing an armpit detox recipe and a little how-to behind how to use it really. I'm really excited to share this with you because I've been wanting to do this one for a while. Ever since I saw this armpit detox earth purities brand at Biomi when I was there in Queensland earlier this year, I've been wanting to try it out because I was like, this sounds pretty cool. I know it was just me, I just think that sounds really awesome to try detoxing your armpits. I just think like, wow. <laughs> Such a strange thing to do but yet intriguing. So I researched into it and some of the reasons why you would do an armpit detox is say you've switched from a conventional deodorant and you're using now a more natural deodorant that you might have made or that you've bought and you found that it's been sort of a transition period for you so maybe you found that you're getting excessive sweating or rashes or like just odour that you can't really mask and you're like why isn't this working? This can be because your body's still switching over from the conventional to using a more natural deodorant and it's kind of still going through the processes from before because a lot of conventional deodorants have things like aluminium which is really really not good for you to be spraying onto your body especially in this area where your glands are because that's um, linked to your I think it's your lymphatic system and that's your drainage system. You use aluminium to help cover those glands up which in turn stops the excessive sweating and things like that but it sort of masks the symptoms not really like getting at the root cause and also blocking your glands off is really bad because how like that's how your body's draining out toxins so cutting that off is really not good because it's not able to expel those toxins like it naturally would as easily so you get other problems later down the track anyway that's one of the things that you can find in conventional deodorants phthalates they're a chemical that's usually found in plastics and can leach from plastic products and things like that but they are actually endocrine dis disruptors which means they're hormone disruptors so that's really can be a big issue with hormone imbalances and things like that having too much of that in your body they can actually cause infertility especially in men so that can be a real big problem as well propylene propylene glycol is another chemical that's found in conventional deodorants but you might know it as antifreeze now a lot of you will know that antifreeze is something you do not ingest, it's a terrible chemical but we're in a sense ingesting it when we spray it onto our bodies because our, body, our skin absorbs that and it actually goes into our bloodstream, gets circulated around the body and it's not good. Formaldehyde can also be found in conventional deodorants and it is a known carcinogen carcinogen which means it has the potential to be cancerous so it's something you don't want to be putting in your body parabens are another toxin that you do not want to put in your body and can be found in some conventional deodorants and that is also another hormone disruptor as well and they've actually found in biopsied tissues um, of breast cancer this chemical in that which is like ooh, not good now it makes sense I guess if you're spraying it um, right near your breast area I guess it would naturally could go there and finally we have antibacterial substances which can also be found in conventional deodorants and I've mentioned them a lot in the past about my thoughts with antibacterial products and I must say I'm more for the natural antibacterial things like essential oils like just keeping yourself clean using soap and water not really needing antibacterial things just because they're also endocrine disruptors and they can also affect the immune system so yeah I tend to stay away from them as much as I can sometimes they're needed however I tend to use them as more of a last resort if you guys want to learn more about armpit detoxing and conventional deodorants I will link in the description below my natural deodorant recipe I also will share the natural deodorant that I purchased because I've been found this one's really effective for me and it saves a little bit of time it's called Porter Healing so I'll link that in the description below if you guys want to check that out and you can feel free to look at my blog post on exactly this where I share a little bit more information on armpit detoxing and natural deodorants and things like that if you guys are interested. Just means I don't have to talk all about it in today's video in case you guys just want to go straight to the recipe. So going back to what I was originally talking about, the reason why people use armpit detoxes is to help with that transition period from using conventional deodorant to a natural deodorant and it's also wonderful for helping to eliminate and I guess remove toxins that have built up in the skin and can also help to reduce the capacity of sweat glands and the odor they produce so with that detox process a lot of the time we sweat can often be one because we're hot and two we're eliminating toxins that way so using this can help draw out those toxins a little bit quicker and help to reduce that sweating and odor produce from that. <laughs> so just doing this can actually help to release toxins in a way that just plain soap and water in the shower may not be able to do. So it actually recommends that you do an armpit detox at least once a week or bi-weekly which is just twice a week for a month until your body kind of transitions over 
to, I guess, doing it and using natural deodorants. So I'll be sharing the armpit detox with you guys today. So you're going to need some apple cider vinegar. I use the one with the mother in it just because it has all those healthful bacterial probiotic properties in there. And I get this Redmond clay online. You can also find it at health food stores. I will link in the description below the one I find from Amazon. Now I've actually used bentonite clay in the past for many face masks and things like that which I'll link in the description below for you guys as well and also to do a hair detox which I used when I was transitioning over from conventional shampoo to using a natural shampoo and I found that helped so much because sometimes you can have a bit of a period where your hair is adjusting and it may not look as clean so I found that to be super helpful which I'll link in the cards above and description below for you guys if you want to check that out a little bit as well. The only thing you need to keep in mind is if you're ever using bentonite clay or things like charcoal because they have an ability to bind to um, you know, toxins and metals and kind of draw them out you don't want to use any metal utensils or bowls with it because it can actually draw out some of those metals in that. So yeah anytime you're going to be using bentonite clay no metal utensils or bowls. You just use either plastic or glass preferably. So we'll get started in making that. I'm going to be using a little glass bowl here today and to mix it I have a little plastic spoon. So I'll just be using that today. So you're going to need one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. You're also going to need one tablespoon of bentonite clay and then you can use one to two teaspoons of water and then just mix that together. All good to go. So now it's ready to apply. Alrighty, so I'm ready to apply this paste on to my pits. So all you're going to do is just spread an even layer on both underarms and you can leave it for up to 5 to 20 minutes. Now if you're just starting out, they do recommend just leaving it on for the minimum amount of time and working up from there. Why? It's a good question. Just to see how your body reacts to the paste going on it. Sometimes people can have really sensitive skin. Now if it hurts at all, remove it immediately. You may find it may cause some redness when you take it off afterwards and that's just because it increases blood flow to the air. Area, but you'll find it will go away quickly after a few minutes or so. Now if you want to remove it you can go and remove it in the shower or you can just use a warm wet washcloth and just gently remove it that way. So you can repeat this daily or as needed until the odour goes away and when you put natural deodorant on it's not irritating your skin. Some people have found that they don't even need to put baking soda in their natural deodorant after doing this because they find the odour is very minimal and doesn't require baking soda to help keep that at bay. So I'm going to apply that on now. I usually just use my finger and just rub it all, all around the area. I'm trying not to get it on my clothes. There, one done, one to go. <laughs> I usually just like literally like go and sit, maybe watch a movie or read and just like kind of keep my arms up, but you don't have to. I just find it's more comfortable. And I usually sit like that for 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes and I'm still walking like this. <laughs> it's basically all dry now, so I'm just going to get a warm washcloth and just wipe it off. And see how it goes. It comes off pretty easily. You may start to see that your skin's a little bit red underneath. Like I said before, it's just from the increased blood flow to the area. So it will uh, fade pretty quickly within a few minutes or so. And there you have it. Mine actually didn't come out too red. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So don't be frightened if it does look a bit red. And make, again, if it is irritating you or hurting at all, do remove it immediately. You don't want to leave it on there if your skin is reacting to it. But for me, it works so well. So now they're all smooth, clean, detoxed. <sighs> and now they smell like apple cider vinegar. A few other tips for detoxing your armpits as well that you might want to try if, say, you still have odor or your armpits are like itching or have lumps underneath the skin. You might want to consider dry brushing, which is shown to help improve lymph circulation. So I will link in the description below or in the cards above my little video tutorial on how to dry brush. Also make sure to drink plenty of water whenever you're detoxing or if you ever stimulate your lymph flow system so like dry brushing, massage, detox and things like that. It just helps in flushing the body and helps prevent getting too dehydrated. So there are a few little tips you guys might want to try as well. Today's huge, huge, huge shout out goes to Fiona. Thank you so much for commenting on my calendula shortbread cookies recipe video. I'm so glad you liked it. That's so sweet. They thought they looked amazing before I even cooked them. I was like, oh, thank you. So that really made my day. Thank you everyone for leaving such lovely comments on my videos. It means so much to me to see so much support and love from you guys. Like my heart goes out to you all. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you guys, fingers crossed, in my future videos. Bye.